Hey guys, this is Game of Cal. Welcome to another Monster Hunter tutorial. This time, continuing on the theme of gathering stuff, we are going to be looking at how best to gather charms. So, charm farming is something which I have basically stolen the method from Gaijin Hunter's videos. So, if you want to look at those instead, he probably does a better job of explaining it. However, we are going to look into it anyway because I can. So, the quest that you need to do this is a G2 quest called Sovereign of the Sky. We are not actually going to be killing this Raffalos, although my armor is plenty capable of doing so if I actually wanted to. We are going to end via subquest. We're going to break the Raffalos' back. The reason that you take this quest is, you know, instead of the, uh, where is it? The. What's it called again? Stygians and Nogo, Mountain Rescue. You can do this one, and if you aren't using Insect Glaive stuff, you probably want to use this one. But the reason that we don't use this particular quest is because it will take longer to do. I pray you have to kill eight of them, and it you know, you have to actually have eight of them appear. It takes a while for them to respawn. It's not as quick to finish. Also, because Stygian Zenoga starts in map 6, map 6 is where you want to end the gathering parts of the quest, and having Stygian Zenoga in the way is not exactly conducive to getting a lot of mining done. So, that's the main reason why we want to do this quest. You could also do Azure Arrival if you want all Firestones, but that's a more complicated route to go around, it does take a bit longer to do, and we're mostly just going to be looking for charms, we're not going to be looking for other items here. So this is more or less specific to Insect Glaive, but you could use Sword and Shield or even Lance if you're crazy enough, but Sword and Shield you could use because of the layout of the zones here. You can still get jump attacks fairly easily and it works out, but it's much quicker to do with the Insect Glaive, and that is how we are going to set ourselves up here. And the next thing we need to do is we need to eat for Feline Explorer, and I'm going to use a Gourmet Voucher this time just so I can guarantee getting the skill here, because it's notoriously annoying for me to get Explorer. I keep not getting it when I don't have a prime ingredient, so the combination is fish and our good old friend drink over here and well we've got to have game changer as well but you can see the first option is explorer you get two daily skills ultra lucky cat is really cool actually but game changer not so much we're not going to be in the quest long enough for any other skill to matter however the only other skill that might matter is feline lander if you manage to get that but ultra lucky cat i don't know if it affects the sub quest if it does that's great but it's not important. Game Changer just guarantees that another monster will appear on the quest, but that tends to take a long time to do anyway. And we're aiming to do this within about three or four minutes, so it is fine. Four minutes is usually what I would take for myself, but that's because I'm slow. So let's look at our armor set here because I haven't actually shown this armor set off yet. This is, again, using the feline hairband. I could get away with a two-slot weapon here, so the uh, Megala weapon would be pretty good, or basically any two-slot. The Hazy Caster is pretty good, the Camellios one. Uh, what else? The Crimson Fatalis one, if you have that, is another two-slot one which I ha I'd use. Um, any two-slot glaive will work for this particular set with my setup here. So. I'm using Star Knight gear for a lot of the stuff because basically I need Rodeo God. Rodeo God is a skill that makes it ridiculously straightforward to mount monsters. If you don't have this, it's not the end of the world, but it will take a fair bit longer to complete the quest. So try and get this if you can. But really, Speed Gather, Gathering God, and Charm God are the main skills here. Charm God, of course, is facilitated by the Feline Headband and my Talisman, which is Charmer plus 8 with 3 slots. I could have used the same Whim Talisman I had before to get Divine Whim, but then I would have lost out on Gathering God. I'd only have Gathering plus 2. So I don't really need the Whim here. We're only going for at most about six mining spots if you're really lucky. So 
whim is not an issue. You will not end up breaking all of your pickaxes. So focus on the other skills here. The speed gatherer of course comes from the iron belt, the charm guard comes from my talisman plus the feline headband, and the gathering guard, rodeo guard have to come from everything else. So that is essentially how we have set ourselves up here. Star Knight gear is really good for this now that it's un unlocked, so try and get that if you can. But otherwise, I'm not actually sure which other sets. You may have to try and use some lower grade stuff to get mounting. So, now that we've gone over that, let's go into the quest itself. So, the reason we have to do it this way instead of doing a harvest tour is because harvest tours always start at the base camp. If you or if you have to start at the base camp, then you cannot get to the explorer spot, and the explorer spot has a very high chance of giving enduring charms compared to everything else. So, as I apparently get slapped for slacking palico stuff there, uh, both of these spots here will give enduring charms at a pretty high rate. We're not really getting especially lucky on that just now. So that's a bit of a shame, but you do see their Charm God coming in as well. We get two Enduring Charms off of that, so that is really good. And then you just have to start looking around for the mining spots. There are usually two spots up here. Either of them can be gold. Ignore all of the silver ones. Only go for gold spots. So not so lucky on that front. This time we only have the one... Uh, we've, we haven't had any spots to go for here so far, but we do have one here. The spot on the left is always silver. This one isn't always around, but if it is, then it has a chance of being gold. If it's not there, then it will be underneath here, and it often is gold if it's under there. There is a fixed gold spot over here, which is fine, so we will definitely want to collect that. And this will often have enduring... well, not often, it has a smaller chance of enduring charm stuff, but that's still a possibility. Now, the one mining spot in here is in different places every time. It looks like we have a gold spot this time, which is kind of lucky. Sometimes it's over on the left there and it will, you know, it can be gold or silver. It's been getting trolled by the eye operator here, that's fine. It can actually be a little bit further along than this. It can be a little bit closer to the original entrance, but Basically look for the one spot there. That one on the left is always gold. This one at the bottom actually is gold this time, but can either be there or across there and is either gold or silver. The one over that side is always silver. So we actually got quite lucky with the spots this time and that's pretty neat. So once you've gotten all of the gathering spots you can, yeah, you can get yourself wrecked by a Renaplus because why not? We can we do want to get Red Essence off of either the Renaplus or the Iapray before we go back. And you really, you want to move back towards map 3. Because by now, at this point of the quest, the Raphalos will have moved from map 8 and is moving towards map 3 or 5. It's in transit right now. And it's actually in map 5 this time, but usually you'll want to move back to map 3 so that you can meet it there. If it's not there when you climb up the the main like pillar bit, then move back into map 5 and it will be there instead. So, we need to mount this thing twice in order to break its back. And that is what we're going for here. So with Rodeo God, you only need to get two or three mount attacks the first time. Do make sure you get White Essence before starting to do jump attacks on it though, because otherwise you will most likely take more more attacks to get the mount. And well, again, kind of unlucky here with uh, stuff. I would have thought I would have gotten the mount by now, but apparently not. So. Having healing palicos is all right. Like you can, uh, you can get extra health off of that. It's kind of depressing that it took that long to get a mount the first time, but whatever. If you can surprise the Raffalos before it comes in, then you can jump attack and get it done really easily. But that's fine. Uh, try and knock it out of the sky if you can with with the mount attacks, because then. Wow, we actually just brought it back fully this time. But if you can knock it out of the sky, then you get a shiny. And those shinies can have white interiors for caravan points. They sometimes have the rare drops, like Raffalus Mantle and stuff, which is really good as well. Uh, yeah, basically that's what you're looking for. Uh, you get a few rewards off of this. You can get stuff like the Mantle if you are lucky. We did not get it this time, but uh, 
I'm going to keep the pieces anyway because I can. This is a great quest to get money from as well because you can sell like pretty much all of the stuff here. You see, you can get also a lot of pure crystals which are needed for many uh, top end weapons. Uh, Cosmosite ore is sometimes needed from, for them as well which is really good. And if you don't need them you can sell them for a lot of money. So there is that. So then we get ourselves all the charms. We probably don't have a good charm here this time but you can keep doing this as many times as you can stand doing it and you can potentially get a lot of very good charms if you are patient enough. So, you're obviously looking for red 10 charms off of Endurings, but that is essentially how your charm farming stuff should go. I'm going to do it one more time, because I want to try and show the Rathalos in map 3. But, uh, essentially, once you, get the, once you get the Glaive mounting and stuff down, it really doesn't take too long to, to do this quest. So... That's fine. I'm not actually going to go ahead and use a gourmet voucher this time because I do prefer to save those for important occasions. And uh, yeah, we did get Explorer. That's the only skill we got there. That would have been a really good set to uh, set the skills to have for a general hunt. Actually, Explorer, Ultra Lucky Cat, and Black Belt. Black Belt's a really good skill in its own right. So yeah. All right. So let's see what we can get this time, maybe we'll get some more stuff here. Ancient Shards can also come from here very often, so if you're looking for uh, worn items, like the worn, uh, well, any of them really, worn spear, worn everything, yes, worn everything is a thing. Um, yeah, you can get a lot of stuff that way. Also if you want the rare bug spot, the rare bug spot is up here as well, you can get some good stuff off of that if this is, uh, if you need flutter flies for stuff. Which, if you're an Insect Glaive user, like primarily, then you will probably need them at some point. So keep that in mind as well. This is a good way of getting those too. Um, once again, it looks like we're not going to get any mining spots up here, which is unfortunate. But uh, yeah, this time we have a spot down here instead, which is silver as well. So this this can often happen. This is why you want to get the Explorer spot, because that's where most of the Enduring Charms are. If you don't get the Explorer spot, then you can often end up not getting very many charms off of this. But with the Charm God skill, I have like four or five times I've managed to max out the number of Enduring Charms I've collected. It's all down to luck, and that's a little bit unfortunate. You see, this time that one's also silver. So we've had no extra mining spots to get so far. We're probably not going to get one in here either. But that's okay, because then it gets it gives us the chance to show the other stuff. Uh, this one is often tricky to see from a distance, but you can see that is silver. So no extra spots here. This is pretty much the unluckiest that you can get. If you don't get any enduring charms whatsoever, then you know I got one here. But if you didn't get any at all and you didn't get any armor spheres like I didn't get here, then my recommendation would be just to abandon quest and restart. There's no point, unless you really need the other materials that you picked up, there's not really any point in just doing the, the Raffler subquest for no reason. Because it can be kind of tricky if Raffler goes rage mode like immediately. It can be pretty tricky to actually get the mount off. And that's kind of annoying. So, you go here, wait maybe 10... 20 seconds at most. If you can get an essence off the Remover, that'd be great, but you don't really need it. So just wait for a little bit. If you don't hear it, then it means it's not come into this map. So then you just go back down here and you fight it once again in map 5. Get the mount, end via subquest, etc. etc. So one nice thing is it's better to be in map 5 than in map 3, but you can actually get a mount if you're really good with the positioning. You can get a mount straight away from the uh, from the top there, which is very good. But I, of course, did not because I'm not quite so good at that. And uh, my cats are kind of troll. You don't have to bring your cats with you. They don't get enduring charms and stuff. It might actually be better not bringing your cats with you so that you can have a more predictable Raffalos behavior. But... I just bring them because I'm too lazy to do, to put them back, you know. With Rodeo God, by the way, it doesn't matter what the Rafflos does. You can, if you're good with 
uh, button spamming, then you can just hit the A button constantly and you can make it work. Um, the Insect Glaive is a little bit tricky to get precise hits with here, so you probably aren't breaking the back as easily as we did last time, but under most circumstances. Try and get Orange Essence if you can before it actually rolls, because then you can just keep going with it, but... Really, it's just a case of trying to uh, trying to get the extra mount here. Uh, if it can go into the sky, that'd be great, but it looks like it's just going to stay on the ground here. Which is fine too, it's not the end of the world, but just, you know how Vaffalo shinies and stuff work by now I assume, so just make sure that you get them if you can, and once you have busted it back, like so, and via Soul Quest, and there you go. So there's two runs, showing, you know, first time is a little bit slower because we got all the mining spots, second time you're seeing it's not quite so lucky, you do have to have patience when you do this, but if you really want to try and get all the very good handicraft charms and stuff like that, you are most likely going to have to do this a fair bit anyway. So persist with it, have, have faith, you will get some stuff eventually. I don't actually need any of this stuff here, so I just sell it because I really, really do not need any more of the things here. See, uh, water attack crit draw, not exactly the greatest of charms ever, but hey, that's pretty much how charm farming works here. You can use other quests, like I said, you could use the Azure Rathalos one if you want all fire stones as well. That subquest is to break the head, so once you've gotten the successful mount you would want to attack the head exclusively, preferably using a dragon weapon rather than the fire weapon that I have here, because if you could use, say, the Shagaru Megala Insect Glaive, then you'll break it quicker, because you do more damage. But, that is pretty much the end of our tutorial here. So, this has been Game of showing off my charm farming set and how best to gather charms for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. And if you would like any more stuff like this or any other general game, you know, descriptions and stuff like that, then let me know and I shall maybe do more of these in the future. Until then, take care.